early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Art House Nouveau house template that you unlock if you manage to complete the Art House Nouveau live event in the time limit. This live event will begin on the 1st of February for 13 days. If you manage to complete the whole live event in the time limit, you unlock this house template. This can be built on the standard and the premium residence under the driveway homes tab. The first one will be free, after this it will cost simoleons based on how many houses you've already built. Let's take a look at this house on the standard residence first. As you can see it is a five storey house. So let's start on the ground floor. At the front we have three doors that all lead in to the same entrance area. Then we have a large pink door frame, that's one of the prizes in the live event, that leads through into the main downstairs area. So I don't really know, walking into this area, what this building is yet. It looks like that is a reception desk to the side there. And there's a seating area. There's a door leading out to the back. And on the other side we've got stairs and an elevator. But it's still not clear what this building is meant to be. So let's head upstairs and see if we're any of the wiser. I do like that there are stairs and an elevator in this building, usually you get one or the other, but in this live event we unlocked both of these, so it's good that we can showcase them in this house. So the first room up here is a kitchen. It's not a very big kitchen, it looks like just a normal kitchen you'll find in a house, rather than it being an industrial kitchen in, say, a hotel. Next door to the kitchen is a dining room. This table and chairs are from the live event. There is a door that leads out to the balcony area from the dining room. And the interior door leads back into the corridor. And then at the end of the corridor we have a toilet. So in here we've got a toilet and a sink. Very nice gold toilet, it does go with the rest of the decor. The gold running through the rest of this building. Let's head up to the third floor now. So again the stairs and the elevator lead to a landing area. Which has doors coming off of it. The first door is what looks like a living room. I really love those cushions on the chairs, I think they go really well with the rest of the decor. The floral patterns and the gold just seem to go really well together. There is a door frame leading from the living room into a bedroom. So in here we have a nice king size bed, again with more floral patterns on it, a sofa opposite the bed a desk by the window. To me this room feels like a hotel room in a posh French hotel. And this beautiful wardrobe in here is from the live event, I really love it. Next door we have an ensuite bathroom. So in here is a bath, a shower, a double sink and a toilet. Again, on this floor, I, st I still don't know if we're in a house or a hotel. Because this looks like a whole apartment on this floor and they would get their food from the kitchen downstairs. But let's head up to the fourth floor and see if that makes it any clearer. So the first room up here is a bedroom. Leading from the corridor. So this is a smaller bedroom, that bed is from the live event, it's a double bed. There is a lot squeezed into this little room but it seems to work. Then in the corner of this room we have a door that leads in to a shower room. 
So we've got a toilet, a double sink and a shower in here. On the other side of the corridor we have another bedroom. This one has the same double bed in it. This one has two sofas in it. I don't think we need two sofas in this bedroom. One would have been enough. And then they also have an ensuite. Their one is a bathroom. So there's a bath in this one as well as the shower, double sink and toilet. Let's head up to the fifth and final floor now. This one has a bigger landing area. There isn't an elevator leading to this floor, it's only the stairs. So this one has a games room. So there's a pool table in it. Although I'd probably move that sofa that's right next to the pool table because that's quite a dangerous position to sit in. <laughs> and the other room up here is what looks like a party room. So we have a projector in here. We have a stereo system a grill, some seating, so it looks like the party room of this hotel. I'm going to go with it being a hotel. This looks like a function room to me. This is where people can have their parties and then they can go back to their room after they've finished partying. Because it doesn't really seem like a house because why would you have that reception area downstairs if it's a house? Yeah, I'm going to go with a hotel. I think that's the most likely option. So that's how this house looks on the standard residence. Let's take a look at it on the premium residence now. The house on the standard and the premium residence is exactly the same. The only thing that differs is the premium residence has a backyard. So it has a swimming pool, pool recliners, lots of places to sit and a bar. If you want to see all of the items in this live event, check out my live event prizes video. The link is in the description of this video.
and that was my tour of the Art House Nouveau house template on the Sims Freeplay. Overall I like this template, there's a lot of decorative items in here, a lot of detail has gone into it, but I think it just lacks a bit of identity. I'm still struggling to actually know what it is. Is it a hotel? Is it an elaborate house? I'm not entirely sure. But if you manage to complete the Art House Nouveau live event from the 1st of February, you can find out for yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos. You can find all my Arts Nouveau update videos in my playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye.